Welcome back to Our Time in the Country, right here on CJMQ 88.9 FM. Every Thursday evening from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m., I'm your host, Maureen. Next up, we're going to hear an interview I did with an up-and-coming young Canadian artist, and she's a country-slash-pop artist. She's from British Columbia. Her name is Cynthia Leanne. Right now, we're playing her single, Missing You, and she's just come out with her debut CD called Daddy's Girl. At the end of the interview, we'll hear the song called Missing You. CJMQ, and today we're talking with Cynthia Leanne. Now you're a young Canadian uh, country slash pop artist from British Columbia. Yes, I am. I'm (laughs) very proud of it. Well, we're proud of you. We're enjoying playing your single here, Missing You. And uh, thank you. Yeah, it's a great song. And that's the uh, first single off your debut CD. And that's just been released. Is that correct? Yes, it has. Very exciting. That was released in January? Yes. I'm so excited. I can't believe it's actually finally happening. (laughs) It must be totally exciting. And uh, the CD is called Daddy's Girl. Yes, it is. (laughs) Now I was reading, you've been interested in music since you were a little girl. Yes, I have. It's been a lifelong dream of mine, and I finally finally get to shoot for my dream, and I can almost touch it right now. It's so exciting. That is exciting. Now you've been uh, working at your music since 2007? Yes, I have. And how did you actually get into the music business? Well, when I was uh, when I was younger, everything I wanted to do, anything I wrote for school, any projects, any future uh, writings that we had to do for mm-hmm. school, everything said I wanted to be a singer. I want to sing. I want to be on the stage. I want to be Carrie Underwood. I want to be the next Shania Twain. It was everywhere. And after my grade seven grad because mm-hmm. we have those now. Mm-hmm. After grade seven grad, my grandma had looked at all of my papers and she had talked to my dad and she was like, you know, she really wants to be a singer. Can I please take her on and, and help her out with this? And my dad first, right off the bat, if I don't have to pay for it, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> Of course, now my dad has changed, and he is one of my biggest supporters, and he he does my website, he does everything for me. After that, I went into a competition in Edmonton, Mm -hmm. and I sang Born to Fly by Sarah Evans, Mm -hmm. and I got two callbacks. That was the most amazing thing that could have happened to me. I never had a vocal session in my entire life before that moment, and it was was huge getting... Wow, it's that's pretty good. Kind of crazy. <laughs> yeah. So, um, did you take vocal lessons after um, you won in the contest and got caught? Absolutely, back? definitely. Yeah. Yeah. It quickly changed from just a dream to a career path for me after after the competition. And me and my grandma took all the necessary steps. We found me a good vocal coach. And we found me venues to play in, just anything to get my name out. Good for you. You went down to Nashville, and that's where you recorded two of the songs off your album, and you worked with uh, producer, singer, songwriter Daryl Keith Norman, so tell us about that experience. Uh, That was actually my very first experience in a studio, Mm -hmm. uh, a recording studio, so it was kind of intimidating at first, going down, especially to a new place, like I had never left. Canada before Mm -hmm. that summer so going down and and going to Nashville and being in the recording studio for the first time was was kind of it was kind of a lot to take in but Daryl was really great and he helped me out a lot and he he showed me all the ropes and helped me relax when I was in the recording studio telling me that everything was like just just perform as if I was performing on stage Mm -hmm. the microphone was my audience and if I performed with all of my heart, then everybody was going to get get what I was saying. So sounds like it was, great advice. It 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 was perfect advice for the situation, and I I take that everywhere. So good. Who wrote the songs on the album? I wrote all of the songs on the album except for the two that I recorded down in Nashville. Okay, so you're a songwriter too. That's interesting. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> now, where do you get your inspiration for your songs? My inspiration it definitely comes from my everyday life any experience that I have that is either happy, if it's sad, if I'm angry about something, it generally goes into a song and that's my way of expressing and Mm -hmm. releasing all the tension that I'm carrying. Okay, well that's great then. Definitely something from the heart then. Absolutely. Good. Now has the album been well received out where you are? Yes, uh, the second I got it out here in Calgary, my, one of my close friends 
ran up to me and he was like, did you see any here yet? And I was like, yes, I just got it in the mail. He's like, I will buy two. <laughs> so I was like, wow, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of fun. Good. <laughs> now, you do a lot of um, different performing here. You've, I've got a long list uh, in uh, BC that you perform different places. And uh, you're also a member of the World Vision Artists. You're also a yes. World Vision Artist. What does that mean? Uh, World Vision Artist. It's just a, it's a company that takes your songs and we send them out and we do fundraisers for underprivileged children and all the money goes out to help them. And I've done a few fundraisers for them, which which I'm happy to say went quite well. And a lot of money has been sent to them to help children who aren't as privileged as, as some of the kids who live in Canada or other parts of the world who who get the opportunity to do a lot of things. That's a wonderful thing to do. And you also volunteer at uh, Metro for Homeless Street uh, Boys and Girls Club? Yes, I, I do. I, I love going down and, and performing for them. I get them it, as involved with my show as they possibly can. A lot of them are very musically inclined, and they just don't have the opportunity to showcase so when I go down and, and I sing for them, I get them to come up and sing with me or tell me their favorite song, and I'll look it up and I'll sing it with them. It's just it's a great bonding experience and a great way for me to give back to my community. Oh, that sounds really wonderful. You're doing some wonderful things out there along with your career. It's so Thank important. You. Your website is, would you like to give the address to our listeners? Definitely. It is www.cynthialeanne.ca. Okay, that's great. And uh, Lee is spelled L-E-I-G-H, so cynthialeanne.ca. And uh, people can order your CD from there and maybe from iTunes too? Absolutely. It'll be on iTunes within the next few weeks. So okay. hopefully that goes well on iTunes as well. Oh, I'm sure it will. I'm sure. It Thank will. you. <laughs> Anything else you'd like to add before we go, uh, Cynthia? I would just, I would love to say thank you so much for having me here on on your radio station today. Thank you for playing my song. Thank you to all the listeners and the fans who appreciate my music. I couldn't do it without you guys. Well, thank you too, and all the best to you in your music career. Thank you so much.
And I just love promoting the new Canadian country artist. She's great, isn't she?